Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite trick and tip for using uh, Lightroom Mobile CC on your phone and how to quickly find the best pictures that you've taken after you've uploaded them to the cloud. Now, this is a feature that is only works on uh, the mobile version of Lightroom. So you will have to have mobile downloaded on your mobile phone. It doesn't have this feature on the web version of Lightroom CC or on the iPad version of Lightroom CC for some reason. So unfortunately, you will have to use it on your mobile phone, but I will show you how to access this feature in this video. And then once it is selected, I'll give you a little tip on how you can kind of a little bit of a workaround to use the results of this in finding your best photos to use these results in the other versions of Lightroom, like on your desktop uh, Lightroom CC or on your iPad. So let's jump in and I will show you my favorite feature on Lightroom. Okay, here's my secret hidden feature for Lightroom. So what you actually want to do is go into your settings on Lightroom. Now you will need to have a, a Wi-Fi connection for this or a data connection for this in order for it to work. So turn, make sure that is on. Now you'll want to go in and tap on the, the, the uh, three little lines on your mobile and then at the very bottom there's a section called technology previews so click on that and you'll want to make sure it's selected where it says best photos so by default is is actually off so turn that on and then what that will do is as you have photos in your library if you've created created folders and it will actually, this is very handy when you're taking uh, a lot of photos in one day and you're editing going through and you've, you know, you've got multiple photos of one, of one uh, subject. And this is kind of a fast way to get through. And so what you do is you click best photos. It uses its machine kind of algorithms to, to find the best photos in your album. And it will, it takes a little few seconds to actually analyze them all. It will depend on the size of your folder that you have all your images in. Uh, it will go through them though, and it will give you the best photos based from these tech previews. So of these photos of the 1,397 I had in this folder, it's given me, it's going to take, it's more going to pop up, but it's given me about 100, 200, close to 200 photos. And it actually goes through and gives you, um, the, the option, it's pulled all the, of what it thinks are the best photos. It does a pretty good job. And you can actually use the slider to select fewer or more just to decide. But what I found is this is a good way if you've been out shooting for the day and you've taken a bunch of photos and you're trying to, you know, kind of call them down into ones that can be edited and uploaded and shared that are probably the best looking photos. Uh, as a starting base and this photo section, this best photos option does a really, really good job of that. So what you can do then is go in and select and you see, you know, see your best photos. This is the best one out of the, out of the entire uh, library. And now this feature only does work on the mobile. So what I find is you go in and if you want to access these photos on the other, you know, on your other system, uh, Lightroom, like on your desktop or on iPad, is you go to rate and review and make the selection. So something you will know. So then when you go into your other, because it all is all cloud based, when you go into your other Lightroom on your computer or on your iPad, you can, you can then select in Lightroom your picked photos. Uh, flagged photos and it will have them all there for you so you can have them all in one one place because the best photos feature is only available on the mobile version so hopefully you found that tip useful hopefully you found that useful thanks for joining me if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing but also give me a thumbs up it lets me know that you liked these videos and like these kind of tips I'm sharing more tips on the Fuji X-T4, but also some photo, photo tips and editing tips like this one I just shared with you. So hopefully you'll join me on along for the next video, but until my next one gets posted, you can check out this past video.